What in the hell is going on? What? I'm on private property, boss. Have I broken a law? Step out of the vehicle, please. Have I broken a law? No, but this, we're officer safety. We don't know what's in the vehicle. All right. If you step out, we can talk. Well, this isn't a traffic stop, and I haven't broken a law. This is not a traffic stop, and I have not broken a law. I'm under arrest? What am I under arrest for? Get out of the car. Get, what, what disorderly conduct? Get out of the car. We'll talk about it. But right now, you're resisting arrest. <laughs> Get out of the car. We're going to drag you out. We're going to break the window and drag you out. So For yes. what, what conduct did I do that was disorderly? disorderly. You witnessed disorderly conduct? You witnessed disorderly conduct? Wait. You witnessed disorderly conduct to arrest me? Are you, is there a sergeant here? My lieutenant's right here. Okay, you witnessed disorderly conduct to arrest me, Lieutenant? Well, he's saying I'm under arrest. Well, am I under arrest or not? So I'm not under arrest and they just threatened arrest? Okay, I'll agree with you there. Clearly, I'm being lawfully detained. Am I under arrest like this officer just said? You said I'm not. You, you well. Right? Oh, freaking vent so loud. I gotta. Okay. Sir, please step out of the vehicle. No. Okay. So I said I'll talk to you. Okay. Do you have any weapons in your car? I'm not gonna answer any okay, questions. Because this is a big difference between us taking you out or not. So you could run down the window the whole way and let us see your hands. Okay. You, you guys have my. You can see my hands. You can see my hands. Bro, I I I understand my rights. I no officer safety. Seeing both of my hands right now, if it's a lawful traffic stop, I, on private property. Yeah. So what am I being stopped for? I want to know. He said I'm under arrest, and you said maybe. Now I'm not. Le I'm not stopped for a traffic stop. Clearly. Okay, to investigate something. To investigate something? Yes. Okay. What are you investigating? Disorderly conduct. Okay. When, well, I'm, I wasn't disorderly. So, what do you want to know? What happened? What? I mean, I have on film me just talking to him very, you know... It, he was not... We weren't agreeing, but we wasn't yelling. There was no threats. There was no... Uh, there was no threat. The on the this one, the one holding the phone. The one. That one. Put it on your window. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm Italian. I'm sorry. Yeah, look, it's yeah, literally involuntary. When I talk, it comes up, so I'm not trying to do anything. Uh, I always thought that was weird, but uh, it is. Look, <clears throat> I'll roll it down a little more for you. Last night, an employee came in and harassed me about my service dog. That was the start of it all, okay? And um, he said I needed to have a vest on, which I don't. Their rules say you don't need a vest. Uh, this happened at another park, which is why I know. And <clears throat> he's put, pointed to some sign about fake service dogs and really escalated. I mean, first he came in the room and, and yelled like, I was in there by myself. Uh, it was like 10 o'clock at night. He comes in the door and says... Uh, just start doesn't even know anyone's walking in hey what's going on in here like what the fuck man i sit and i'm like what and so he's like you can't have dogs in here and you can't have your bike up here and i'm like dude what are you talking about because my bike i was just i rolled it up to set up because i was just using the internet and uh anyway man i told him dude you need to, you're out of line you need to go and i by the time i then i pulled my phone out when i started filming then he totally changed his demeanor was like oh well i'm just gonna leave right so then this morning i start texting to try to get the manager to because I wrote up what happened and I was going to send it to the manager. So I te security texts me uh, back saying like they got my site number yesterday. So I'm like, okay. So I text him back. Hey, can I get the manager's name? And I got all this in here. He printed it out. Actually, that's what's in his hand. He, I said, Hey, can I get the manager's name and, and email address? Won't give it to me. He's going to, he's going to talk to you at 10 30, whatever. I said, okay, can I please get the manager's name and email address? Uh, but no response. Hey man, I don't. I want. I got something in writing. I want to send him. Can I please get the manager's name and email address? Won't give it to me. Okay, who's the security guard right now refusing to give me the manager's name and email address? Won't give it to me. And then so you can go read the text. This is what they're trying. This is why they called you because I asked him why. Because I heard them say the sheriff's here. I'm like, why did you guys call the sheriff? 
And when I was going out to breakfast, I just stopped to ask. I wanted to get the security guard's name because I'm going to file all this with their corporate. And uh, so when I was stopping there, I hear him on the phone saying, Sheriff's going. And then he goes, oh, I think he's at the door right now. And so he opens it up with this, you know, shitty and grin and starts like being real evasive at the door. Like, oh, I, I told the manager this. I'm like, oh, so you're the security guard. OK, well, let me get your name. Was not rude. Nothing. It's all I filmed it, too. I'm filming every interaction with staff from here on out. Super calm, quiet, just, oh, okay. He wouldn't give me his name, but it was on his jacket. So I'm like, finally, okay, here's your name. What's the manager's name? So then he finally gives it to me. So I did engage him a little bit like, dude, why was that so hard? Why, why did I have to ask four times for a manager's name? Like, that's how you treat guests here? And I'm, and so then he goes, well, the sheriff's going down to talk to you right now. I was like, well, where's the manager? Because that's who I want to talk to. I have no reason to talk to the sheriff. He said manager in the office. That's when I came up here. I talked to him. He clearly is taking his lying. His his staff says this dog, dude, it's a six year old service dog. This dog charged him. He says when he walked in the room, complete lie, zero aggression, never had any incidents with my dog. Period. So I filmed it. I was walking out, and they freaking acted like I just robbed a bank, and we're going on the radio. He's getting his drug. I'm like, what the fuck? And. Bro, I'm here. I'm a guest. I pay. I have leasers rights. I paid $6,500 to be a member in this. I have no disorderly conduct. I haven't done anything other than express what how they should be treating guests. And yeah, I have PTSD. Maybe I get a little loud, but there's no threats. There's no nothing. They are the ones that are inflicting emotional distress. They are the ones that are escalating things and real, man, just subversively escalating it where they can still be like well we didn't call you a fucking asshole but we acted like you were one and just were so evasive we're gonna frustrate the situation so that you become one so that's where it's at man all right sir so, really all right sir so the manager why don't you try to pass from the property i have leasers rights you guys don't have the authority to get me off of here unless i've committed a crime so like you said it's private property no you don't I have leasers' rights. I'm part of the private property, boss. I got a lease for a $6,500 contract. Okay, let me talk to the dispatcher for a second. We can work this out. Okay. Yeah, how about these guys? And How about me and you talk and these guys just you cover? Have your ID by chance, sir? If I haven't broken a law, I'm not giving you my ID. No, you're being lawful. Okay, but reasonable. Hey, stop talking to me. Your lieutenant's talking to me. You shitty and grin. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Look at you. You just want to shoot somebody or beat their ass. This is the kind of cop that we all know is out looking for trouble. We all saw that grin. We know he wants to bust this window and drag me out. This one here too. This one hey. de-escalating super good. Okay, you can tell why he's the lieutenant. Can these fine. guys, look oh, at that face. Plate, so like just run his plate. Oh, let's just get it. We can get it either way because it's crack. We need his ID. It's crack cocaine, man. We got to get that ID. Here's, look at, we'll see what this one is. No bald head, so a little bit of a... All right, sir, so... I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your lieutenant. Cover, contact. Contact, cover. Mm -hmm. I don't okay? Really do this, so. Well, um, you're the only one that's not aggravating me and, and seems to be level-headed enough. These guys clearly want to escalate, pull me out of the truck and beat my ass, take me to jail. These guys over here just don't want to be wrong and get corporate involved because they already screwed up. I am by myself. I've been a member of this for over two years. I haven't broken any laws. Don't go anywhere. Just wait. Can I get your name and badge number, boss? 11041. What's your name? What's your name? Contreras. What is it? Deputy Contreras. That's him? Yeah. Thank you, Hughes. Appreciate you being professional. You and the lieutenant, super professional. Those two are going to get you guys in trouble. Okay. Everyone can see it on film, man. This will go up. <clears throat> just, yeah. You, I know you just walked up. You're 100% cool. <clears throat> These guys already threatened to arrest me unlawfully twice <laughs> break my window you know the whole cop just just what every cop does to scare you and tell you and it's like it's just ridiculous it just jacks the situation up for no reason you staying over here at the campgrounds yeah man i live here <laughs> well i live in thousand trails i'm a full-time member okay yeah, I don't know if you guys know how this program works. It's kind of like a timeshare with RVs. You travel around full time and go park to park. Mm -hmm. There's like, I don't know how many, they're all over the US.
Man, I'm lucky you guys got this lieutenant, I can tell you. I mean, I've, huh? I've just been through too much to know it's a, a luck of the draw, and I can tell from this lieutenant he's very seasoned and just trying to, you know. It, <clears throat> I'm just a good judge of people, man, and can pretty quickly assess when someone's looking to solve problems or make them. Those two that he's talking to or trying to make them? He's trying to solve them. You seem like you're just trying to learn. <laughs> I don't know how accurate I am. But. <clears throat> so it's the part of this whole guy. Well, okay, so let me ask you this. Because you're just fucking this guy up. Because that's what's going to happen. No, I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah. So I'm going to fight. So what's our thing? So we've got this perfect second process. So why are we going to do this all the time? Yeah, these guys over here, I sent texts and basically, I was, I'm talking about getting corporate involved or filing a lawsuit, but I used the word escalate. They're trying to make that seem like I'm going to grab an AR and come shoot everybody. Literally. I mean, that's why they called the sheriff. I was like, I asked him in the text, what is threatening? How the hell did you just call the sheriff? The only thing he did was point to the word that I said escalate. This is going to escalate. Well, dude, you're not giving me the manager's name. You're not taking care of my concerns. I told you I got PTSD, and you guys are causing intentional emotional distress by harassing me. How do you think this isn't going to escalate? Like, doesn't freaking mean I'm going to come in and kill everybody. It means, dude, I'm not going to let this go. You guys aren't just going to get to do this and, like, keep your job or not get, you know, punished. It's ridiculous. Sometimes people interpret things a little differently. Oh, I get it, but, like... When we get it to our side, it's a lot different than... Nah, yeah, I get it. On. I mean... To be honest, I understand that, but the way you approach, the way Lieutenant approached, how is that? You can still shoot someone if you need to, but you don't need to come up like you're going to fucking shoot them right off the gate like those two did. They literally said they're going to bust my window, pull me out of my truck, but I haven't even done anything. What was your name and badge number real quick? I didn't get yours. My first name is Patrick, last name is Bame, 10337. All right, thank you. Um, so do you... Do you camp here? or do I full-time. I'm part of this. Okay, I was just telling him, this is like a timeshare for RVs. Okay. Uh, you buy a membership in. It's You can ranges from like 6000 to 16000 And then you pay month, yearly dues. And then you travel full-time through the system okay. throughout the U.S. So it's kind of like a like a landlord-tenant yes. thing. Yes. Okay. I, would, I would say that would be the closest thing. Okay. Because my, my understanding was... Uh, you were just a camper, no. uh, staying for. I have a contract for a lifetime okay. membership how, how in this park. How long have you been? Over two years. There? Oh, this park just yeah. last night I got here. Oh, just last night. But okay. I've been in the system for over two years. They're, what's, they're, what system? They're they're thousand trails. Okay, so right. they okay. Like they're, they. I mean, it's. <laughs> I don't want to give you like the whole pitch, but it's like three different park things thousand trails covers them. There's RPI encores. I mean, it's just it's basically to sum it up. It's like. A uh, long-term lease agreement where you get to move your RV under their properties around the U.S. Okay, so there's th okay, so it's one big well, thousand trails is the one that I'm a part of. They uh -huh. have so that's for this for all intents and purposes. That's who I signed a contract with. Okay, yes. thousand and trails. You, you and live I, here. You're gonna live here permanent. No, I travel in their system full time. Okay, so you go three weeks and you travel park to park. That's how it works. That's why it's like a timeshare because you're not. Okay. Um, you're not you can come back like I can go somewhere else and then just come right back here but you just stay you know and then you do thousand trail you know you're just in their system the whole time though hmm. that's interesting it is I mean for so, RVers it's pretty awesome but <clears throat> so did did, er, did everybody kind of explain why we were here in the first place well I had to figure it out no this okay. I, I when I came out of the, the basically because I said the word escalate in a text is what it's coming down to because okay. okay. that's I asked him what was threatening when I, I have it all on film too I videotaped my whole interaction with him in the office so he can't say like his employee did he can't lie and say my dog or me charged him w would you mind me explaining why we're here the, the call we got oh yeah yeah no okay. great so and just <clears throat> try to put yourself in our shoes I will into this I will line. try okay so we're getting told that there's a threatening call, okay? That there's a male subject, yourself, described as yourself, described in your truck. Um, okay. 
that had threatened a security guard last night and was getting into his face last night. Did you ask then, what he did to threaten him? No, just hold on. Okay, this sorry, you're right. Call. I'm this sorry. Let me shut. Waiting. Let me shut up. Yeah, yeah. So us as deputies are responding because now we're being told that there's another male subject, such as yourself, um, back at the gate, being disorderly, everything like that. Okay? It's on film. Just so you know, I'm, but yeah, I'm sure it is. I know. But again, yep, I'm, I'm, I hear you, bro. I hear you. I was, you were pulling away as I pulled up, but yeah. Okay, so we don't know exactly what's going on. Okay, all we know is that there was a disorderly individual going, uh, going reported, around, yeah, being disorderly, yelling, threatening people. Okay, so disorderly conduct is basically making unreasonable noise, mm -hmm. using language that provokes another threats, yeah, yeah, um, or serious disruptive behavior. Okay, sure. Um, so, obviously, threatening, everybody understands what threatening is. Basically, I threaten to hurt you or whatever, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess I have a big question, though, because yeah. that happened give me, last... Oh, go ahead. You, okay, yeah, yeah. I'd be happy to answer that for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, us coming in is blind. We don't know exactly what is going on, right? So, we are told that the, there's you now at the office, unknown what's going on over there. Okay, so we come in. Okay. We see you pulling out. Uh, so they, they definitely jacked you up. Okay. okay. So yeah, at yeah. that point. I'm seeing now how this happened. If somebody's driving away from, say, a domestic violence situation. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can stop that vehicle. Yeah. We have reasonable yeah, yeah, yeah. to that So vehicle. that's how you guys are coming to this. Like, I that, like you don't know exactly. if there's a dead body in there. We have no idea. <laughs> okay. We don't. Because of how they're telling you. Because of how they're telling you. Because... This is what I'm saying. This morning, to even call you, why was you called? Because I didn't have any interaction with have any you ever staff a member. Game before? Well, yeah, but that's okay. not my problem. Well, I, I that's know. them I, jacking I stuff up. I know, I get that. But I, you play that game before? Yeah. Where one person yeah. says one thing and it goes down the line. Yeah. So now, this, these people tell our dispatch what's going on. Our dispatchers are trying to type it in and tell us at the same time what's going on. So things might get lost in trans translation. Okay. So, we have to react with what's coming in through the radio and on the screen of a disorderly male subject that has been threatening in the past. We see you leaving. We stopped you. Okay. This okay. is technically it is a traffic stop. Well, okay? because is it? again, we need to detain the suspect. It's a stopping a vehicle, but it's not a it's not a lawful traffic stop. It, it is because we are detaining. A You're detaining an individual. You're not creating a traffic stop where I broke a law, right? You don't know if a law is broken. You're investigating. Have reasonable suspicion. Reasonable suspicion. That a law was yep. broke. That's yep. why you're detained. Yeah, I got that. So when a law enforcement officer... But coming out telling me I'm under arrest when you see no weapons, don't see me being disorderly, and tell me you're going to bust my window and jacking it up, that's pretty freaking so, out of line, let, dude. Let me explain that, okay? So when we ask you, please step out of the car... And I don't have to. If I haven't broken a law or I'm not on a traffic stop, me, that's MIMS, right? Pennsylvania versus MIMS is a yeah. driver has to step out of a vehicle on a lawful traffic stop. Which this is a lawful. This traffic is not stop. a lawful traffic okay. stop. You we can, can disagree on that. Go let's, ahead. Let's agree to disagree. Okay. Fair enough. So, if you could tell me the traffic violation that I had to to encounter, it doesn't have to be a traffic violation. It does. Okay. It I believe it does. Or you have to witness me breaking the law. Okay. Right. It's reasonable suspicion to, to agree, detain. Disagree. I know. Okay, I, I agree. I'm sorry. So, I'm still jacked up, and I'm I'm still defensive. I'm really not trying I, I to make it, it worse. It. I'm just trying to talk with you, and <clears throat> I know you are, and I appreciate. It. I'm not okay. trying to argue. So, I'm just trying to get my side in a little bit, so because it's on film, and you know this how where this is going. Yeah. Okay. So when we ask people to step out of a vehicle and they refuse, that's refusing a lawful order. Mm -hmm. If it? if it's a lawful order to be given, okay. but we let's leave that alone because so, we're done with that, right? Yes. Okay. So, you refused. That's why we told you you were under arrest. Yeah, but it was on. But it wasn't a real arrest, and we're done with that, right? So understand. That's why we're here. That's why we're detaining. Okay. That's you. why you called. That's why yeah. we're talking with you. Yes. Okay. I think we. So talking with them. Yeah. I don't believe there's probable cause to arrest you for disorderly conduct. I would agree with that. Okay. Hundred percent. I agree. All right. Mm-hmm. Now. Or trespass. They they say they want you trespass. However. They don't have the right. That's why I'm talking to you, trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're going to need like, to get corporate like, and the property owner okay. involved. It sounds like you have bought basically a piece of property and you're living on mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. temporarily. Mm -hmm. Okay, To us, that sounds more like a landlord-tenant thing. That's the closest I, I can I don't see. know. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know. I agree. It's, it's a weird one to, for is. me, too. I don't know how to explain it. It's a big it. civil... But I know I have rights. I have a contract. I have, I've made my payments. I'm up to date. I know all that on that side for them to be able to so what say anything on that. So... I have a contract in my thing and, you know. So, what, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to call our county attorney and explain all this to them. Mm -hmm. And because I want their help in determining what's going to be the best solution for everybody. Sure. Does that make sense? I mean, I don't know what they would have. In I it, don't know. I but but I wouldn't it. mind hearing what they had to say in a way. I know it's really only looking to jack me up, no, but no. I'm pretty confident no. in my standing, so I don't. I'm not really worried we're, about we're it. Not but looking to arrest you at all. Not even arrest, just trespass. Just yeah. just if they had, you know, like uh, to do that means you're looking to further it to see if you, you could come back and trespass me because the attorney says you could. That's where I'm saying you're going with it. We still have to figure. And it And so I understand as a cop, you're really not looking for my best interest by doing it, but I'm also pretty good at standing on my own two feet and say hey whatever I, if i thought i was wrong i'd leave okay. i mean I'm, I'm a man dude i'm 50 years old i don't i got wheels on my house okay, I, can, I, I didn't the reason Corey, Corey. the reason i'm staying is because i have a right to stay and i haven't done anything wrong okay. and we we're gonna figure that out Corey. all right thanks, Corey, i apologize i made a mistake in saying that oh you're, you're i really appreciate that conduct but there is a crime being investigated regardless i totally or get the it new information is not disorderly conduct it could be trespassing like you said well so. yeah I appreciate you apologizing for the way you came up. It was pretty freaking aggressive and yeah, it would have went sideways real quick. I, I would have lost, but it would have just been bad, dude. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't, it doesn't work for guys like me, man. Like, I understand. I know what you guys are taught. I just wish you guys would look at videos online and realize the way that things are going from the way you're taught. It's bad news, man. Like, there's too much evidence out there now to show what good policing is and bad policing. And like I said, you can always shoot me. Like, dude, you don't need to tell me you're going to bust my window out and do all that. You can always do that later. I didn't present a gun, a weapon. I'm not trying to be threatened with you guys. I know you guys... I didn't realize how bad they made it look, but I I knew you guys were coming in on some a little bit of bad information after he told me escalate in there made him feel threatened. When I'm talking about, like, filing a lawsuit or contacting corporate but that's that's big of you i don't want to give you a freaking earful i appreciate that Since this is probably going to go online, I'm not going to divulge any personal information, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really retired necessarily. I'm going to have to work eventually again, but I'm on a long sabbatical. <laughs> Get your gloves on and everything. You're ready. Well, like we was explaining, <laughs> when we got when we get calls like this, it's something you roll in hot. I mean, I I kind of get it. I kind of get it. I just by the time we get it from I don't dispatch, know, man. it sounded like you were yelling right now at a, in front of the office, and that's why we came in so hot. I got it. okay, okay. Why yeah. wasn't? I mean, I wasn't at all. I actually wanted to leave in there. The guy kept trying to get me to, to show, look at the email on my phone. I'm like, no, dude, I'm not going to turn my freaking video off until I'm out of this office and away from you guys because I don't trust any of you. And now I know why. I mean, it's, it was good of me to do because I see what they did. That's also why we stop people and we, we speak to them before we do anything. I mean, I get it, dude. I know I'm a, look, I know I'm not a small guy. I, I know. I mean, I... I I don't even try and people tell me I'm intimidating. Like, <clears throat> it's 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 actually kind of frustrating because I really just like being left alone. And I got PTSD, so if I get upset, you know, you just kind of, your shoulders go back. And it's like, but dude, I'm, I'm not putting hands on anybody. I'm not freaking, like, that's just, again, I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> you know? 
I've been through that shit and I'm done, man. It's just like, I'll, I'll put it on paper and end up getting some money out of it in the long run. I'm not going to go do something stupid like over a freaking campground dickhead staff member. But I, I mean, I kind of get, dude, like I said, I do understand the way they train you, how you act, but dude, you could get a one up with a cop when I was growing up. If you, had, I mean, he'll take his badge off, fucking duke him with you. You can't do that anymore because there's cameras. I understand it. But, like, cops didn't mind going hands-on. It wasn't a big deal to fight. You subdue someone. It wasn't always about fucking the bat belt where you just got to, like, break windows, stun him. It's like, dude, I'll just whoop your ass. I'll just train and beat your ass, like, if you want to do that. And if you need to, you pull out your equipment and use it. But, like, it's really sad how cops, not saying you guys, you guys are some pretty meat-eater type Cops are just such pussies that they freaking jack stuff up because they get scared, literally scared. They're not even just there to, to put it in control. Taking a situation in control, dude, that's what you're there for. But being scared when you get there to do it, not you again, I'm just saying like in general, police. It's scary to see what we see online, man. It's what is like 90% of problems where I think if cops were just more confident in their hand skills where they knew... Dude, I'll just choke this guy out if I need to. I don't have to, like, worry about it. If he doesn't have, you know, I mean, cops used to take on dudes with knives. One guy would come, blindside him, fucking run right through him like a train, knock him on the ground. Two or three cops would just jump on top of him, spread his arm out, throw it in an arm bar. It was done. Like, I've seen that. Dude, I grew up in Southern California. That's That was policing back in the day. And it's just trippy to see how it's changed. And now it just escalates so freaking quick, man. No cop wants to, like, just you know wait and see like oh i can take this dude I'll, I'll i'll let and see if he's gonna get out of line for a second they just instantly think he's already out of line and i'm gonna do you know i'm gonna take it to level 10 and put him in cuffs and like as a citizen going into it knowing that's your mentality it, it, it's frustrating too because like honestly like i said i'm really glad this lieutenant showed up because it 100 percent would have went south if just these two guys were here i wouldn't have got out I mean, that's just how it is. I know I didn't break the law. And I would have made, filed a civil lawsuit. Again, I would have lost in the short run and long, won in the long, but, you know, it's just how it goes. I mean, just out of curiosity, if I am detained and he says this is a traffic stop, which it's not, isn't a reason? Is, hasn't a reasonable amount of time been conducted at this point? You guys know. I mean, I'm not having. I'm not disorderly. If you're going to trespass me, you can always email me or come by my campsite. Is there a reason that I still need to stay here? Can I go get breakfast? Well, reasonable no. time would be. We're still working out the situation. Isn't it 20 minutes for a traffic stop? There's no specific time. It's just reasonable time. And if they're still working on it, they're reasonable time. I mean, I feel like after his conversation, what, what exactly are we waiting on, I guess? is Like, uh, it's been about 10 minutes since he said, hang on a second. Um, he's, he's talking to the lieutenant. And what? Here we go. I'm terrible with names. Corey, right? Yep. Okay. All right, you're free to go. Okay. What we're going to tell them is uh, this is kind of a big civil issue. Mm -hmm. And that you guys need to basically figure it out, court, through eviction. And just stay away. I mean, I already texted them saying so, I don't want to talk to any staff, everything in writing, and I just, they can do the same. What I'm going to tell you is don't talk to them. Stay 100%. away 100%. Yeah, right? yeah. Please tell them. Yes. <laughs> Trust that, me, I'm on that. <laughs> the fact that you recorded yep. that interaction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that helps with whatever side. Okay? Yeah. And I'm going to ask you, you don't have to. Yeah. Would you be willing to show me the recording? Yes. Okay. I will show you the recording. Uh, of, of in here? Of, of the internet. Now that we're done, you've released me and we're good to go. I'll shut, off, are, I'll shut off my phone and, and you are 100% I'll just show you so that you can get the tone of what was going on in there. And, and anyone watching this, if I never come back, you know why. 